Hello, my awesome Cancerians. I missed you. Happy weekend to you, Cancer. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is exciting for us to have weekends, right? Cancerians, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer, for Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer in their life, and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life, and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey this one very clearly wants to show up as extra message for you very important this is you awaiting communication from your soulmate so you love your soulmate yeah you love your soulmate cancerians and you awaiting some kind of important communication from them but this person is not aware how much you care about them, though. It's like you're not telling them. You haven't, you haven't told your soulmate how much they mean to you emotionally for some reason. Like you're resisting telling them how you truly feel. Ooh, what happened? You feel no love from this person for some reason. Um, like they left you behind. Like they are not showing you love, not communicating with you. Not telling you where this is going. Mm. Because they're showing up as reversed. You see this? Ooh, what happened? You feel betrayed in this situation for some reason. You feel like they're not telling you everything. Um, hmm. You, you want to communicate with them, but you're restraining yourself. You're waiting for them to communicate with you. You walked away from this relationship, though. Yeah, you did. You let them go. So I don't think this person is aware how much you care for them emotionally. I don't think they're aware. No. Um, hmm. This is you walking away from this connection, yet you still love this person and you still wish to hear from them. Let's see. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Cancerians. This is tough. It was to show us. What uh, is coming up for Cancerians and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you restraining yourself from communicating. You're not reaching out to this person right now. You're not reaching out. You're holding back communication. Yeah, you feel like you are very connected with this person emotionally, spiritually. You guys have shared many lifetimes together. So no matter what transpires in this lifetime between you two, you're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. You're just going to look differently physically, but the same souls, right? The same energy. You feel so alone, abandoned by this person, like they didn't show you love, didn't express anything to you oh what happened you feel betrayed heartbroken so this is betrayal this is heartbreak so whether they are in a relationship with somebody else or are totally cutting you out of their life whatever the reason is you feel betrayed and heartbroken at the same time this is the worst cut in the whole deck three of swords heartbreak oh i'm so sorry you're going through so much cancerians this is tough a lot of you are dealing with the leo uh, Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Taurus. Hmm. <sighs> you curious? How are they doing? What's going on in your life? This person is checking up on you, though. Anyway, they came to see what's going on in your life. Yeah, I see. No communication. So you feel deep love for this person, but you're not with them or not telling them how you feel. It's very stressful for you because you feel such deep love for this person, but you're not able to be with them for whatever reasons. Yeah, 
You've been waiting patiently, communication, communication. You've been waiting patiently for this communication to happen. You want healing. You want to heal. You don't want to feel this betrayal. You don't want to feel, you do not want to feel this heartbreak anymore. You want to heal. You feel extremely connected with this person like you never felt with anybody else. Wow, this is heavy. Let me see what's going on here. I'm sorry you're dealing with so much. This is tough. In about a minute, we're going to ask about your soulmate. You must please show us what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on the soulmate journey. Pisces showing up here. Virgo showing up here. This is you. Oh, um, you have very high standards for yourself. Yeah. You want a relationship that's reciprocal, that's healthy. You don't want to waste your time on anything frivolous. You're very picky about people in your life, who you surround yourself with. Yeah. You view this person as powerful, independent, strong-willed. You're checking up on them any way that you can to see how this person is doing, what they're thinking, what they're up to. Wow, this is very strong reading. Let me see what's going on with this soulmate of yours. And was, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? Oof, they have a lot of pride. It's hard for them to show they are emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, they don't like to initiate communication for some reason. Yeah. They know they are at a crossroads. So they're dealing with something heavy in their life that they need to figure out. You see? They see that you are on different paths from each other. This person is very attracted to you, very drawn to you. Deep attraction. They're trying to figure out where you fit in their life because they realize they can't let you go. Yeah, you see, there's a lot going on in this person's life that they need to figure out. They're dealing with a lot of stress from different people's situations. They have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? They're checking up on you, want to know what's going on in your life. They want to reconcile with you, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. They do love you quietly without telling you. Yeah, this person didn't expect <clears throat> to love you so deeply. This is like shocking to them that they fell so deeply emotionally. This person doesn't like to be emotionally vulnerable. Wow, this person is sad that they lost you. They feel like they lost you. This is them feeling heartbroken. They're still holding on to you to some kind of hope that... Um, there will be reunion or reconciliation. Yeah, you see? There's a lot going on in this person's life that they need to figure out. Wow. This person lets you go, too. So you both let each other go. They view you as very guarded emotionally towards them. You, you told them goodbye. You told them... Uh, that you're letting this go. In some cases, you, you it looks like you told them how disappointed you were in this relationship. Yeah, they view you as very guarded emotionally towards them. Um, they didn't expect to be so deeply emotionally affected by this loss of you from their life. Yeah, there's a lot going on in their life. You see this? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancer and how is the summit of cancer towards cancer at this time? You are very important to them. Hmm. They do love you, you see, but they're not expressing it. 
They're going through major changes in their life, major rebirth, regeneration, changes that are beyond their control, that can be stopped, divinely ordered changes, uh, recognition of important truths about their life and how they connect with other people. Yeah, this person feels sad. Um, they care for you deeply emotionally and trying to figure out how to re-enter your life if there's another possibility or not. Yeah, they feel a uh, great sense of emotional loss. Yeah, because you're not in the life right now. Wow, Cancerians, we're going to go into your extended reading, but we're not only going to ask about this person, but also new soulmate entering your life. So first we're going to ask about the soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cancerians, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.